In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you want to begin by making a new title. So we'll press the T icon on the top bar of After Effects. Then we'll select anywhere in this black video and we can just type out a word of our choice. Now, once you've typed that out, you just want to hold Command A and that's going to select everything. Then you want to go ahead and you want to change your font. You want to change the look of your font. You want to increase the scale and you want to make sure your text is white. Now we'll load up the proportional grid. So we'll select this, select the proportional grid and we're going to center this text up in the very middle of the frame. Perfect, now we'll just turn that off. And as you can see, we've got our text sitting in the middle of our video. Now from here, we're gonna go a layer, new solid. In color, you want to go ahead and select a color of your choice. I'm gonna select a nice aqua blue. We'll press okay on this and okay on the solid settings window. Now from here, you want to press S on your keyboard to load scale. You want to deselect this button here. This is linking the width and the height of the scale. So you want to deselect that. And we want to go ahead and change the width of this scale to around one or two pixels. And you want to decrease the scale all the way down to around 20%. Now we'll pull this all the way to the left. So we'll press P on the keyboard, pull this all the way left off screen and we'll create a brand new keyframe. So we'll press the stopwatch icon to create a new keyframe. Now we'll go two seconds to the right and we'll pull the position of this all the way to screen right. So that's going to animate from screen left to screen right. Perfect. If that was a little bit too slow or if it was a little bit too fast for your liking, then all you have to do is move the second keyframe to the left or to the right moving it to the left. So decreasing the gap will speed up the animation and moving it to the right, increasing the gap is going to slow down the animation. So this is completely up to you, but once you're happy with the look of that, we can move on to the next level. Now from here, we want to go ahead and we want to duplicate our title layer. So we're going to select that layer. We're going to hold command C or control C if you're on windows and then command V and that should copy that into its own layer. So we've got two different versions of this text. Now we'll go down into the character window, making sure the newly pasted title is selected and we'll change the color from white to anything that we fancy. So let's select this goldish yellow color. We want to make sure we want to make sure that there is no stroke. So make sure the stroke is deselected. And then from here, you want to go ahead and draw a mask around that title. You want to make this as close to the title as possible. So it's really important that the mask doesn't come all the way out here. You want to keep this nice and close. Now we'll scroll all the way over to the right to find the point where this blue passes the word. So it just passes here. Now you want to go ahead and make a brand new keyframe on the mask path at that position. Then you want to scroll all the way to the beginning and you want to move the position of this path over to the left. So we want to grab this point, pull that to the left and we want to grab the bottom right point and drag that over to the left as well. Now if we play this back, that title has turned yellow whilst the blue line has passed over it. Of course though, if you wanted the title to change to the same color as the line that passes over it, then all you have to do is select that title go into the color picker, use this eyedropper tool and then select that blue and press OK. So this means we've got a white title and when the line passes over it, it turns into the color of the line. And there you go. We've got this really awesome color change text animation right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So. If you found this video useful at all, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, if you're subscribed, I will see you on the next video. See you there. Thank you for watching.